Yeah. Well, let me show you this cool setup because great, it's a little great. bit unique. Yep. So we have two computers here. They're connected. You know, I mean, you see all these wires, but it's actually, this is a user. This is the acting as the email server. And it's just a fiber connection. Right. Okay. Right. It's just a regular office setup. Right. Just a regular right. office setup. But yep. This would normally be a server. Right. You know, but I yep. didn't want to carry a server in here. Absolutely. So <laughs> it's a laptop. Yep. And all these wires are set up because it's actually converting fiber to Ethernet. Okay. So we, we have a direct connection here. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. And this wouldn't be like in the same office. It would be in some closet or whatever. Right. This would be sitting on somebody's desk. Yeah. But where the magic happens is over here because on one of the fiber connections, what I do here is I have a, 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 what they call a cassette. Okay. And what this does is it gives me visibility to actually get to the actual fiber. So okay. this, you know, this is glass, yeah. like glass yeah. cable. It's about as thin as your hair. Mm -hmm. And I use this coupling device to actually clamp down on the fiber and I can create a wiretap. Okay. That could be the mini NSA, right? Right, right. And what this does is it takes the light off of here. Yep. It sends it down the fiber to this box and it's connected to my Mac, and I could actually eavesdrop on the communications. And uh, this is your an outside guy. Outside, I, yeah. I, I could be I could be inside the company where there's a fiber junction, or outside. Yep. This is kind of what an optical fiber junction looks like. Over here, it uh, looks like you know the cylindrical device. Mm -hmm. You pull it up, and you see just multiple of multiples of these cassettes. Stacks and stacks. Just stacks of and stacks and stacks. So anybody could pop it open and couple it and actually create a wiretap. It's not a myth, it's right. real, and I'm gonna prove it's real. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is on the hacker computer, Okay. I'm gonna bring up a tool called, it's a very common tool that IT administrators use called Wireshark. Mm -hmm. and what I'm gonna do is restart it. And what I'm gonna do is set it up, put what we call a filter on there, just to look for uh, SMTP traffic, which is email. Which is email traffic, right. right, right. So this is yep. the, the tapping computer, okay, and it's not hooked up directly into this connection, but what we're doing is we're simulating a tap, a fiber tap. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over to the user computer over here, Yep. and I'm gonna do a new email. And as you can see, I have a little bit of sense of humor. I'm sure. Kevin.mitnick at nsa.gov. Not likely. So, right, so I'm gonna right. send a, a quick email over to Edward Snowden. All right, not really sending it to no, Edward Snowden. No, but, right, right. actually this is not even going over the internet, right. it's just a demo. Right. And then I'm gonna put the subject as secret and confidential. Say, hi Ed, oops. This is my online banking password mm -hmm. that has no two-factor authentication. Mm -hmm. So please guard it with your life. Mm -hmm. Hope I type that. Oh, let's type please. This kind of sensitive instruction. Right. So mm -hmm. this is like you know people send passwords. Yeah. They send you know. Um, maybe financials, you mm -hmm. know, even attachments, because Healthcare I can intercept information. attachments Absolutely. too. Yep. You have yep. a PDF of your, 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 your third quarter financials, right. and they're secret, yep. I can get them. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and, you know, and this is, I'm not gonna send an attachment here, just a simple email, uh, and I'll put in, uh, my password is Kevin123, mm -hmm. exclamation point. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Kevin. Okay. Great. So here we have. I, I drafted the email. Yes. And then when I hit the send button over here, it's actually going to send the email to this box to the server. Mm -hmm. And this is to the server. All right. So Ed would uh, would be on another computer somewhere else that would actually pull the server. Yep. To get the email. Right. So when I hit send, I want you to pay attention over here to gotcha. the to the hacker computer because mm -hmm. some something's going to happen. Okay. And it's going to kind of be gibberish to you and then I'll show you what we have here. Okay. So I'm hit send. Yeah, boom. And you see a bunch of stuff come up and then I'm gonna hit send receive here and if we listen, we could hear the email be sent with the typical ping. So here we go. Okay. The outlook, right? So Successful the email sent, it's right, sent to the right. server. And over here, because I'm tapping the transmit on this connection, mm -hmm. I'm able to not only intercept the email, but actually the password. So what I'll do is we're gonna head and, whoops. Go to the first packet. We're mm -hmm. going to follow the TCP stream. Okay. Going to enlarge it for you. And if you look up here, you'll see it says login. auth login. Mm -hmm. in a, and see, this is base64 encoded username password. Okay. Okay. And then most importantly, what we have here is the actual content. Uh, the, yeah. We have here hi ed. This is my online, you know, banking password with, that has no two-factor authentication. So please guard it with your life. My password is Kevin one two three. Thank you. So we actually intercepted the most important, which the which is the content of the email, 
that I was sending to Ed. And as a bonus, you got the login credentials. Co correct. Right. Correct. Incredible. It was, uh, yeah, Absolutely yeah. incredible. And it, it's scrambled, but uh, it's not too hard to you know basically reverse. Now, of course, the natural segue is to then say, were someone to actually utilize encrypted email, this hacker over here is not seeing anything that they can actually use. Right, because I set up this email server not to using encrypted protocol. So we're using POP, mm -hmm. POP3, which is not encrypted. Right. If it was using an encrypted secure protocol, we wouldn't be able to get the credentials. If we were actually encrypting the email and the attachments, mm -hmm. then even though I'm intercepting the packets on the wire, it's unintelligible to me. Right. I can't read it because it's encrypted. Right, right. But this, people thought that wiretapping fiber was actually a myth. Mm -hmm. But here, we're able to you know, play NSA for a day and actually demonstrate that this stuff is really real. Or any hacker, right, yeah. right, absolutely, absolutely, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for um, walking us through that, and um, for everyone uh, you know that had a chance to witness this. You, I think you and I think that this is the first time this has actually been demoed. Um, Correct. That I, someone's actually shown this. Exactly. I, I have a colleague, uh, Philippe, in in Luxembourg, that actually you know put this whole thing together, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, this is the first time this is being demonstrated publicly. Mm -hmm. But we've had this knowledge that this could be done for quite a while. Incredible.